As a museum, we try to represent the entire span of all life on Earth, and that's what a big collection like ours is basically there for. My name is Jochen Gerber. I am the Field Museum's Invertebrates Collection Manager, and today we are unboxing a deep-sea giant isopod. A deep-sea giant isopod is basically a roly-poly, like the little things that you find in your backyard under a board or something like that. Just, it's much, much bigger, so it's giant, and it lives in the marine realms in depths between about 300 and 800 meters. They are scavengers, so they eat mostly uh, dead stuff that they find, fish, dead crustaceans, dead cephalopods, squid and so on, even dead whales. This is about as big as this species gets, about a foot long. They are not on the endangered species list right now, but we preserve them in alcohol because that allows us, even after hundreds of years, to study their anatomy, where they came from, what they are related to, where they sit in the tree of life, so to speak. This particular specimen has not come out of the jar for at least 20 years, I would say. The preserving is done mostly by the, uh, by the collector, because you have to preserve them right away, basically. You can't put them in your suitcase and ship them through three airports for three days, then you have a very badly preserved specimen. So they should go into alcohol pretty much right away. Often when I show these to the public, they are reminded of the movie Alien. There is apparently a video where one of these guys was together with a kind of shark in a trap. And in these confined circumstances, this thing could actually latch onto the face of the shark and started eating it. So that's scary. But as I said, there's really no reason to be afraid of this. It has a bit of the smell of a dried shrimp or something like that, that you would put in a Korean soup. Uh, I suppose it's an acquired taste. 